Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Aliyah Shahid. The Asarco strike has now stretched on for more than two months as workers demand higher pay and better benefits. News 4 Tucson's Tanel Confair has the latest. IBT General President James Hoffa stood in solidarity Sunday with these Asarco strikers who are now on day 77. No peace, no, no justice. justice, no peace, no, no justice. justice. They're fighting for a battle for their lives here in the Mission Mines right now. They haven't had a raise in 10 years. And this is from a company, Asarco and Grupo, that have had made a billion dollars last year. On Sunday, strikers were served dinner along with city leaders who showed their support. Workers say they want more money and better health care. They want to basically double their out of pocket for health care. They don't want to improve their pensions after 10 years. And the answer is it's enough. They've sat down at the table, they tried to get a reasonable arrangement, and they wouldn't do it. And the answer is these people are out and they're fighting, and they're going to keep on fighting all the way until we win. Is that right? That's right. right. Through it all, many of them say the community's support of their strike has helped them survive without pay. Every day there is somebody that is here. What do you need? How can we help you? Can we send you a check? Can we send it into Powell? It's just been an outpouring of support because the struggle is so, it's so unjust. As far as negotiations go, they say with the help of city leaders, they hope to reach a deal soon. We're going to fight. We're going to get a contract and we're going to push the elected officials to stand behind us and change the laws in this country. I'm Zanel Confair, News 4 Tucson.